ये अन्यक्ष विमुक्त मानि नस्त भावा विशुद्ध सुबुद्ध आरोह्य कृक्षेण परम पदम तत पतंत्य गो नादुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष्मुष
that they have been liberated and elevated to the highest position they fall down as clearly stated by the lord himself in bhagavad gita asraddha dhanah purushah dharma yasya param tapa aprapya mama nirvan nivartante मृत्यु संसार वर्तमनी दोज हु आर नॉट फेट फेथफुल ऑन द पैथ ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस कैन नॉट अटेन मी O conqueror of foes, but return to birth and death in this material world. It doesn't matter whether one. is a karmi jnani yogi philanthropist politician or whatever if one has no love for the lotus feet of the lord one falls down that is the verdict given by lord brahma in this verse there are persons who advocate accepting any process and who say that whatever process one accepts will lead to the same goal but that is refuted in this verse where such persons are referred to as vimuktatmanina signifying that although they think they have attained the highest perfection in fact they have not in the present day big big politicians all over the world think that by scheming they can occupy the highest 
political post that of president or prime minister but we actually see that even in this life such big prime ministers presidents and other politicians because of being non devotees fall down to become president or prime minister is not easy one must work very hard to achieve the post and even though one may reach his goal at any moment one may be kicked down by material nature in human society there have been many instances in which great exalted politicians have fallen from government and become lost in historical oblivion the cause of this is abishuddha buddhaya their intelligence is impure the shastra says nate vidu swartha gatim hi vishnu one achieves the perfection of life by becoming a devotee of vishnu but people do not know this therefore as stated in bhagavad gita klesho dhikataras tesham avyakta sukta chetasam persons who do not ultimately accept the supreme personality of godhead and take to devotional service but who instead are attached to impersonalism and voidism must undergo great labor to achieve 
their goals sreha sreha satim bhaktim udasya te vivo klishyanti ye kevala bodha labdhai to achieve understanding such persons work very hard and undergo severe austerities but their hard labor and austerities themselves are their only achievement for they do not actually achieve the real goal of life dhruva maharaj at first wanted to achieve the greatest material kingdom and greater material possessions than his father but when he was actually favored by the lord who appeared before him to give him the benediction he desired dhruva maharaj refused it saying स्वामी कृतार्थो इसमी वरम नायसे नाउ आई एम फुल्ली सेटिस्फाइड आई डू नॉट वॉन्ट एनी मटीरियल बेनिडिक्शन दिस इज द परफेक्शन ऑफ लाइफ यम लब्ध्वा च परम लभम मान्यते नाधिकम तत इफ वन अचीव्स द शेल्टर ऑफ द लॉर्ड्स लोटस फीट वन इज फुल्ली सेटिस्फाइड एंड डज नॉट नीड to ask for any material benediction at night no one can see a lotus for lotus blossom only during the day time therefore the word arvind daksha is significant one who is not captivated by the lotus eyes or transcendental form of the supreme lord is in darkness exactly like one who cannot see a lotus one who has not come to the point 
of seeing the lotus eyes and transcendental form of Sham Sundara is a failure. Preman Jana Churita Vakti Vilo Chenena Santa Sandeva Hadeyesu Vilo Kianti Preman Jana Takchurita Vakti Vilo Chenena Santa Sadvaita Hadeyesu Vilo Kianti Those who are attached to the Supreme Personality of Godhead in love always see the lord's lotus eyes and lotus feet whereas others cannot see the lord's beauty and are Therefore, classified as Anadrata Yasmad Angaraya or neglectful of the Lord's personal form. Those who neglect the Lord's form are surely failures on every path in life. But if one develops even a little love for the Supreme Personality of Godhead, One is liberated without difficulty. Swalpam apya asya dharmasya trayate mahato bhayat. Swalpam apya asya dharmasya trayate mahato bhayat. Therefore, the Supreme Personality of Godhead recommends in Bhagavad Gita chapter 9 verse 34 Manmana bhava namad bhakto mad yati mam namaskuru Simply think of me become my devotee worship me and offer some slight Homage to me. Simply by this process, one is guaranteed to return home back to Godhead and thus attain the highest perfection. The Lord further affirms in Bhagavad Gita, 18th chapter 54-55 verses. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Na Sochati Na Kangshati Samah Sarvaveshu Bhuteshu Mad Bhaktim Labate Puram Bhaktya Maam Abhijananti Yivan Yaschasmi Tattvata Tato mam tatvato janatva visate tad anantaram. One who is thus transcendentally situated at once realize the supreme Brahman and becomes 
fully joyful he never laments nor desires to have anything he is equally disposed to every living entity in that state he attains pure devotional service unto me one can understand the supreme personality as he is only by devotional service and when one is in full consciousness of the supreme lord by such devotion he can enter into the kingdom of god text 33 तथा न ते मधवतावका क्वचि भ्रश्य मगाई बद्धसौहृदयाभिगुप्ता विचर निर्भया विनायकानेकमूर्धसु प्रभो ओ माधव सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड lord of the goddess of fortune if devotees completely in love with you sometimes fall from the path of devotion they do not fall like non devotees for you still protect them thus they fearlessly traverse the heads of their opponents and continue to progress in devotional service devotees now the purport devotees generally do not fall down but if circumstantially they do the lord because of their strong attachment to him gives them protection in all circumstances thus even if devotees fall down they are still strong enough to traverse the heights of their enemies we have actually seen that our krishna consciousness 
movement has many opponents such as the deprogrammers who instituted a strong legal case against the devotees we thought that this case would take a long time to settle but because the devotees were protected by the supreme personality of godhead we unexpectedly won the case in one day thus a case that was expected to continue for years was settled in a day because of the protection of the supreme personality of godhead who has promised in bhagavad gita कौंतेय प्रति जानी थी नामे भक्त प्रणश्यती ओ सन ऑफ कुंती आई डिक्लेयर इट बोल्डली दट माय डिवोटी नेवर पेरिशिश इन हिस्ट्री देर आर मैनी instances of devotees like chitraketu indradyumna and maharaj bharata who circumstantially fell down but were still protected महाराज भरत फॉर एग्जाम्पल बिकॉज ऑफ हिज अटैचमेंट टू ए डियर थॉट ऑफ द डियर एट द टाइम ऑफ डेथ एंड देर फॉर in his next life he became a deer yam yam vyapi smaranam bhavam tejati ante kalevaram because of protection by the supreme personality of godhead however the deer remembered his relationship with the lord and the next took birth in a good brahmanical family and performed devotional service सुचिनम श्रुवतम गेह योग भ्रस्तो विजायते सिमिलरली चित्रकेतु फेल डाउन एंड बिकेम एडीमन रत्रासुरा 
but he too was protected thus even if one falls down from the path of bhakti yoga one is ultimately saved if a devotee is strongly situated in devotional service the supreme personality of godhead has promised to protect him kontiya prati janti mala me bhakta pranashyati but even if a devotee circumstantially falls down he is protected by madhava the word madhava is significant ma mother lakshmi the mother of all opulences is always with the supreme personality of god it and if a devotee is in touch with the supreme personality of god it all the opulences of the lord are ready to help him yatra yogeshwara krishno yatra partho dhanurdara tatra astra vijayo bhutir dhruva nitir matir mama wherever there is a supreme personality of godhead krishna and his devotee arjuna parth there is victory opulence extraordinary power and morality the opulences of a devotee are not a result of karma kanda vichara the devotee is always protected by all of the supreme lords opulences of which no one can deprive तेषा नित्युक्ता योगक्षेम भाव्य दस ए डिवोटी कैन नॉट बी डिफीटेड बाय एनी ओपोनेट्स ए डिवोटी देर फोर शुड नॉट डेविएट knowingly from the path of devotion the adherent devotee is assured all protection from the supreme personality of god वेद क्रिया योग तप सी 
तवाहरम येन जना समीह ओ लॉर्ड ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ मेंटेनेंस यू मैनिफेस्ट सेवरल इनकार्नेशन ऑल विथ ट्रांसेंडेंटल बॉडीज बियॉन्ड द मटीरियल मोड्स नेचर when you appear in this way you bestow all good fortune upon the living entities by teaching them to perform vedic activities such as ritualistic ceremonies mystic yoga austerities inances ultimately samadhi ecstatic absorption in thoughts of you thus you are worship by the vedic principles or boy as is stated in bhagavad gita yagya dana tapa karma na tajyam the vedic the ritualistic ceremonies charity austerity and all such prescribed duties are never to be given up yagno danam tapas chaiva pavanani manishina even one who is very much advanced in his spiritual realization must still execute the vedic principles even in the lowest stage the karmis are advised to work for the sake of the lord yagnarth karmano netra lokoyam karma bandana work done as a sacrifice for vishnu vishnu has to be performed otherwise work binds one to this material world Do you understand the meaning of this? In text, wise, I work know. done as a sacrifice for Vishnu, Vishnu has to be performed. Otherwise, so work binds so one to this material world. So the words yagnartha karmana no it's not yagnartha karma indicate 
that while performing all kinds of duties one should remember that these duties should be performed to satisfy the supreme lord according to the vedic principles there must be divisions of human society chatur varanyam maya srastam there should be brahmanas kshatriyas vaishyas and shudras and everyone should learn to worship the supreme personality of godhead this is real human society and without this system we are left with animal society the modern activities of human society are described in shrimad bhagavatam as the activities of go khara cows and asses sa eva go khara everyone is acting in a bodily concept of life involving society friendship and love for the improvement of economic and political conditions and thus all activities are enacted in ignorance the supreme personality therefore comes to teach us how to act according to the vedic principles in this age of kali kali yuga the supreme personality of godhead appeared as shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and preached that suno in this age the vedic activities cannot be systematically performed because people are so fallen he gave this recommendation from the shastras shastra hare re naam hare re naam hare re naam eva kevalam kalau nastyai eva nastyai nastyai gatir anyatha in this age of coral 
and hypocrisy the only means of deliverance is chanting the holy name of the lord there is no other way there is no other way there is no other way the krishna consciousness movement is therefore teaching people all over the world how to chant the hare krishna mantra and this has proved very much effective in all places at all times the supreme personality of godhead appears in order to reach sorry in order to teach us vedic principles intended for understanding him we should always know that when krishna and lord chaitanya appeared they appeared in shuddha sattva bodies one should not mistake the body of krishna or chaitanya mahaprabhu to be a material body like ours or krishna and chaitanya mahaprabhu appeared as needed for the benefit of the entire human society out of causeless mercy the lord appears in different ages in his original shuddha sattva transcendental body to elevate human society to the spiritual platform upon which they can truly benefit unfortunately modern politicians and other leaders stress the bodily comforts of life ye satma buddhi kuna pe dhatu ke and concentrate on the activities of this ism and that ism which they describe in different kind of flowery language essentially such activities are the activities of animals we should learn 
How to act from Bhagavad Gita, which explains everything for human understanding. Thus, we can become happy even in this age of Kali Yuga. Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Actually, it is very transparently said in this scripture very clearly that we don't we should not have any kind of any doubt it is very nicely said this is the highest mercy of our Prabhupada to us how we explain so even though if you have some Question At my level, I will try. I'm not master. But when some question comes, then I try to give answer. Truly manners that people can understand and can reach the right message to them. But I don't think there is anything questionable after reading all this, after listening all this. The things are crystal clear. 